Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the REST parameter syntax works in JavaScript. Um, so essentially, it's a relatively new kind of syntax introduced in ECMAScript 2015 or ES6. And it allows you to write out functions which accept an infinite number of arguments through um, an array. So it works very similar to the arguments object, but it's going to be a, uh, just a bit easier to use. Um, and you're also dealing with actual arrays this time around. So I'm going to be showing you how it works and of course just a few examples. Okay, so let's go inside the text editor right here. We can begin inside the JavaScript by, of course, defining a function to actually work on. So I can say function right here, call this function add for example. So this function is going to be adding up a few numbers. So we can store the result of this function inside a constant. For example, const result is equal to add. I'm going to pass in here something like 5, 10 and 20. So this right here is my sort of unknown number of arguments. I expect result to be 35, 5 plus 10 plus 20. We're going to be using the rest parameters syntax to essentially take an array of these arguments and then of course loop through them and give us the result. I can then say console.log result and that's going to work just fine. So now um, let's go inside here and write out the syntax for the rest parameters. It looks just like this, very similar to the spread syntax. You put three dots just like this, followed by the name of your identifier. For example, nums. And that is it. So now, essentially, nums is accessible through this function, and it's an array of 5, 10, and 20. If I was to then console.log nums, I'm going to save this now and refresh right here. We can see we get an array 5, 10, and 20. So that's basically how it works, relatively straightforward. So now, uh, for a bit of demonstration here, I can write a, uh, write a new uh, variable here called total equal to zero. And we can, of course, loop through each number and, of course, add, that, uh, add them to the total. For example, for const n of nums, I can say uh, total plus equals n. Then I can simply return the total. Of course, there's probably a better way to actually find the total here, but it's a bit of demonstration. So I'm going to save this now and refresh once again. And now, of course, we get 35 right here for the result. Okay. Um, so also with these things, you're actually allowed to pass or have uh, parameters before the rest syntax or the rest parameter syntax. So for example, I can say a and then comma. So in this case right here, uh, essentially a takes the value of five and then 10 and 20 become an array within numbers. Okay, sorry, our nums. So I can then console.log a, then I can say console.log nums, save this and refresh this time around. We can see a gets the value of five, then the array here is just 10 and 20. And of course, the result reflects on that 10 plus 20 is of course 30. Okay, and you can of course do the same thing for um, B, so A, B, and then nums this time around, of course. We can console.log B, save this, refresh once again. Now we get 5, 10, and 20. You get the picture. Okay, cool. So um, you're actually not allowed to uh, put a, uh, have a parameter after the rest parameter syntax. So I can't say, for example, D like this because it doesn't make too much sense. Essentially, uh, the way it works is it takes 5 as A, 10 as B, then any other numbers or any other elements or arguments passed through after those two, um, these two here are put inside the array. So D doesn't make too much sense. In fact, if I was to save this and refresh, we, we actually get a syntax error. So rest parameter must be last formal parameter. So uh, definitely don't do that. Um, and one last thing for this rest parameter syntax is it actually supports array destructuring. So what I can do is, is I can basically put down three dots like this, then I can define a, B, and C. So now this is, uh, this is of course, array destructuring. We're basically just taking the array. We're saying five, is, uh, uh, five goes to A, 10 goes to B, and uh, 20 goes to C. I can then log out those three numbers right there, get rid of all this stuff, save this, and refresh once again. And now we get, of course, five, 10, and 20. So 
Uh, in this case right here, this is basically the same as just doing this, so regular arguments. So I'm not too sure the actual usage or benefits of this syntax, but if any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments section. And uh, that is all for this video guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.